that he would be taking any other kind of uh, form that didn't be uh, the kind of sudden or violent fire that he was uh, trying to form. So <clears throat> let's get started and uh, let let me show you like uh, this is what we're going to cover. So the prerequisites that we require is we should have Terraform installed on a system <clears throat> and we should have a GCP account uh, and also we should have one service account which will deploy all this stuff. Uh, it's the same that I mentioned in the last video. <coughs> so let's uh, go ahead and check uh, the structure of uh, the Terraform files in a folder. So this is the folder, file. this one, and in this if I go, I will we have few files such as network file, variables, provider, network tier. So we will focus on the files which are of, uh, which will actually be deploying, the, uh, which will have the settings of the components or the resources to be deployed. Let's start with the network.tf. This contains actually the VPC that would be deployed. So this you can find over to the Terraform and documentation and uh, how we are specifying is we are typing in resource then this is the thing for the will compute network where we are specifying the name just a random name which will be used into the Terraform files and uh, this will be picking up the variables uh, and will append it with VPC at the end which will be the name of the resource which will be provisioned into the Google Cloud platform. So uh, auto uh, creation of subnetworks, uh, we are taking it as false. So it's the same like how you do it onto the portal. For example, you go into the VPC here, click on it. And if you go into create VPC, <laughs> so you just type name something, 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 and then uh, you do the custom or uh, automatic it will create the automatic subnet so we are taking custom so automatic uh, is uh, mentioned here false if it would have been true we would not have been specifying these things in this particular range okay anyway so this is just to show you like how things work dynamic routing global and or, or regional <coughs> uh, or global whatever you select so we are selecting global then this will create the public subnet uh, it will also append the same name IP cider range it will be picking up from a variable so this variable there are variable files uh, network variables if you can switch this public uh, subnet cider one it is picking up from here public subnet uh, <coughs> uh, it's it's using public subnet one and uh, where it is specified it is specified the value is specified in here in this file so it is uh, this is a well uh, file which contains all the settings <coughs> and other variable files are picking up the value using these particular variables okay from the actual file which is used for deploying the resources similarly uh, you will, it will be using the CIDR range and uh, network it will be uh, it will use this network and the region it will be using the GCP region that we have specified uh, the region which we have specified is uh, US East one and you can find uh, in here and we have used this zone the auth file that is the service account file that we downloaded it's placed inside the folder and outside as well so dot dot means you go uh, one folder uh, up uh, for uh, uh, the JSON uh, for uh, checking it up. So it will deploy network. So this file is related to the rules. It will create four firewall rules. If you see in here, there are four entries uh, rules which will be created. So same thing, it will append it uh, with this particular string. Uh, it will give a name of this firewall tool for the compute engines. It will use the same uh, VPC name. So it will 
uh, fit with the VPC name from the uh, uh, things which have been defined into the network variables. We are allowing the code. So all this particular code, right, or a block code, you will find this sample into the Terraform uh, documentation page, and then you can make changes accordingly and club it. So we are uh, making four rules: HTTP, HTTPS, allow, then SSH, and allow RDB. So here we will be. Uh, these are the deployment files: network, network firewall. These components will be deployed, and this one is the VMs.pf, uh, which where the VM will be deployed. So same thing, you will find it. Uh, which zone it's gonna using? What will be the host name and the thing? And which tags it will use? These have been defined. Uh, the boot disk image, which uh, image uh, will be used for deploying? So Ubuntu 18.04 LTS we will be using. Uh, so and after that uh, it will also run a metadata starter script that you can place it here or even whenever you are deploying through the portal you specify it into the text box uh, what uh, things you gonna be deploying and then network interface we will hook it up to the network which we create which will which will be created in these two sections uh, so this one authentication file so here we are specifying the name of the project because these settings will be used while uh, configuring the apache all these things so these have been also defined in here so this is the project id which uh, where in which google project it will be deployed these are just random values that i have placed uh, just for testing purpose so let's go ahead and uh, do it so i will go into the folder and uh, this is the folder so let's Terraform corner. So it says that these are the files for which the formatting is done. Uh, yes, so these may not have been formatted earlier, so they were formatted. Now let's go ahead and learn Terraform init initialize. So it has uh, it has done the same and uh, Terraform then validate also to validate the code if something is there so it says that there are no regular irregularities there are few warnings that you could see in here that it's from the older format probably this uh, this can be changed but it will deploy it so let's go ahead and run terraform plan So it's basically says that how many resources this is gonna be deploying nine resources which will be deployed it says so if we go in here like we can start with it, what it's gonna be deploying <laughs> so if you see in here it will say it will create firewall rule http https four firewall rules uh, internal allow rdp ssh5 rules then it will be deploying uh, the vm instance it will bind it to uh, the network and all network names will come after the deployment and also this will this this it will be using network it will be using which it will be then it will also be mentioning like network vpc public subnet and a random instance id will be generated and also these are the components such as gonna be deployed so let's go ahead and uh, just run Terraform apply. I will put yes and after that I will pause the video and I will come back once it starts create it has completed the creation. So we are just back, so it deployed this uh, all the component the resources in a minute. So it has given you the output what is the external IP of the VM and all. So it has created this thing. So let's go on to the portal and see like what it has done. So I will go on to the compute engine the instances. So if you see, this is the VM which has been created and SSH uh, is allowed in the same. So this is about the deployment, even if we go to the VPC. Uh, so 
you go into the VPC network, so it will show you like certain this particular network. This is the network which it created. So it appended it. It also created a subnet in it which append which uses the same thing and appends the component which we have specified into the Terraform file and it uses the same CIDR range that we specified. Then also if you check the firewall rules, so it has created all these uh, uh, rules starting with this test Apple and, and all these six rules it has created. So, and it has also taken up the same virtual private network, the, the clean network which we specified VPC and all the ports which we specified in these two have uh, come from the, this has come from the compute uh, VM Terraform file and uh, rest have come from the other one, uh, other file, these five rules. Uh, from the uh, network firewall terraform file so this is uh, about this video and uh, hope you have liked this video and thank you for watching